So Faraday's law says that the induced EMF in a circuit is equal to the rate of change of flux linkage throughout the circuit. Now, the one word in there, one phrase you won't recognize um, unless you've studied this uh, intensely, um, is what flux linkage is, magnetic flux linkage. So let me define magnetic flux first, then we'll look at what flux linkage is. So magnetic flux, which uses the symbol phi, um, is the product of magnetic flux density um, by the area swept out by the circuit or by the coil of wire which you're moving through it. So flux density we came across previously, um, which has the symbol B measured in Tesla, areas in meter squared. Magnetic flux has the unit uh, Weber, or it's German, so it technically should be Weber, um, given by the initial WB. Magnetic flux linkage um, is given by the symbol N phi. That's just one symbol, it's not N times by phi. Um, that's the product of magnetic flux, so um, phi we just looked at, and the number of coils on sorry number of turns on the coil coil that you're investigating so in this example here let's say we've got a coil um wrapped uh, sort of in a circular motion we've got four turns on the coil um now if we were to kind of move it through a magnetic field um so magnetic field here is going right to left and move it through the magnetic field it will sweep out the area enclosed by that circular loop so that will be the area swept through by the conductor um, and in this case it's got four turns so we just multiply that area in meters squared by four. So alternatively, um, magnetic flux density, if you've ever wondered why it's called magnetic flux density, well density is mass over volume. In this case, um, it's not something over volume, um, it's flux over area. Um, so flux per unit area um, is the way we might define uh, magnetic flux density. Uh, in terms of an equation uh, for Faraday's law, we can represent it like this. Uh, so EMF, um, kind of curly epsilon symbol, uh, equals the rate of change of flux linkage. Flux linkage is N phi, um, and because it's rate, it's divided by a change in time.